Welcome to an introduction to differential equations. The laws of physics are generally written down as differential equations. Therefore, all of science and engineering use differential equations to some degree. Understanding differential equations is essential to understanding almost everything you will study in your science and engineering classes. You can think of mathematics as the language of science, and differential equations are one of the most important parts of this language as far as science and engineering are concerned. As an analogy, suppose all of your classes from now on were given in Swahili. It would be important to first learn Swahili, or you would have a very tough time being successful in your classes. You may have seen differential equations already without perhaps knowing it, and you probably even solved simple differential equations when you took calculus. Let us look at an example of a differential equation you may not have seen. dx dt plus x equals two cosine t. The x is the dependent variable, and t is the independent variable. The equation is a basic example of a differential equation. It is an example of a first order differential equation since it involves only the first derivative of the dependent variable. This equation arises from Newton's law of cooling when the ambient temperature oscillates with time. Solving the differential equation means finding x in terms of t. That is, we want to find a function of t, which we call x, such that when we plug x, t, and dx, dt into the differential equation, the equation is true. That is, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. It is the same idea as it would be for a normal algebraic equation of just x and t. We claim x equals x of t equals cosine t plus sine t is a solution. Well, how do we check this? We simply plug x and dx dt into the differential equation. We need to compute dx dt. We find that dx dt is equal to the derivative of cosine t plus sine t, which is negative sine t plus cosine t. And now let us compute the left side. The left side of the equation is dx dt plus x. We need to show this is equal to two cosine t if x of t equals cosine t plus sine t is a solution. Well, dx dt is equal to negative sine t plus cosine t, and then plus x gives us plus cosine t plus sine t, which must equal two cosine t. Simplifying the left side, notice how the sine terms simplify out, and we're left with cosine t plus cosine t, which is two cosine t. We got precisely the right side, so x of t is a solution. But there is more. We claim that x equals cosine t plus sine t plus e to the power of negative t is also a solution. Let's check. Again, we have to determine dx dt. Well, dx dt is equal to the derivative of cosine t plus sine t plus e to the power of negative t, which gives us negative sine t plus cosine t minus e to the power of negative t. Notice to differentiate e to the power of negative t, we do have to apply the chain rule. And then we have plus x, where x is cosine t plus sine t plus e to the power of negative t. If this is a solution, this sum must equal two cosine t. We'll notice the exponential terms simplify out because they are opposites, and so are the sine terms. Once again, leaving us with cosine t plus cosine t, which is two cosine t, and it works yet again. So there can be many different solutions. For this equation, all solutions can be written in the form x equals cosine t plus sine t plus c times e to the power of negative t, where c is some constant. Different constants will give different solutions, so there are really infinitely many possible solutions. Let's look at a graph of a few of these solutions. We will see how to find these solutions a few lectures from now. Looking on the left, the graph shows three possible solutions for the differential equation dx dt plus x equals two cosine t, where all of the solutions are in the form of x equals cosine t plus sine t plus c times e to the power of negative t, where c is in a constant. To determine the graphs of the three solutions shown, we used three different values for c. Solving differential equations can be quite challenging. There's no general method that solves every differential equation. We will generally focus on how to get exact formulas for solutions of certain differential equations, but we will also spend a bit of time getting approximate solutions. And we will also spend some time on understanding the equations without solving them. I hope you found this helpful.